Hello everybody, it's Magma and I'm here with a brand new old 2011 LEGO Star Wars set review for you guys. It is set 8096, it has 592 pieces and it is Palpatine's, or sorry, Emperor Palpatine's shuttle. So this is an episode 3 LEGO Star Wars set, it includes 4 minifigures, most of which are actually exclusive. It includes Emperor Palpatine and his normal robe, at the time this minifigure was pretty new and pretty rare at the same. Uh, we also have Anakin Skywalker wounded. Now this is an exclusive minifigure. I love the printing on him. He obviously comes with the Darth Vader helmet and without. Um, he comes uh, with lightsaber. He doesn't come with the actual Darth Vader outfit. He just has the helmet. Um, then we also have the clone pilot which was a new design and still is. Uh, it's exclusive and I think the uh, dark bluish color is exclusive. And then we have the medical droid, which I haven't really seen around. Uh, I think he was in that Hoth Echo Base uh, in 2011 as well. Um, but I'm still going to call him exclusive-ish because I think we haven't ha seen him in a few sets. Um, and this set used to retail for $60, so obviously 592 pieces, $60. Uh, the price matches with the set. The set is a $60 set by looks. It includes... Uh, the four minifigures, which I I really think they make up the set for what it is, but at the same time, um, I really like the shuttle as well. I think that you mainly get this set for the shuttle, even though the minifigures are a big draw. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the fun features. So as you can see, this set is packed with action features. I'm going to go ahead and start with the underbelly of the set. And it does have some pretty cool um, landing gear. I actually like it. Reminds me of skis. <laughs> Um, but it is pretty cool and yeah, <laughs> it's just landing here at the end. So yeah, and here we have in the cockpit, which I'll actually zoom into to get a better view. We have the cockpit and when we open this one, it has two stickers. These are the only two stickers of the set. When you open it inside, um, lighting isn't as good. Just fit the pilot inside like so and then just close it up. And yeah, that's it. So, let me just get the lighting better. And um, so, take a look at the set here. We have these pins, and by pulling out this pin, like this, and then pulling out the other pin, like this, um, and then pulling out this back pin, like this. By the way, there's a gun here, which goes like this, and then sideways, pretty much in any direction, so that's pretty cool. And uh, before I do take off this top part, I do want to say that the back part, it has some pretty cool engines, but this is what I don't like about this set is that it doesn't have this back part covered and it doesn't have this front part here covered as much as I wish. But yeah, if we take off all the pins and then just pull out this entire part, this entire part just comes right off and you can put it aside. So what that allows you to do is it allows you to open up the set, which personally I really like. So yeah. So there's a bunch of fun features in here. I'll go ahead and take Darth Vader because we need him. And from this angle we can definitely see that there's two seats. Uh, I'm guessing these are for guards, maybe shock troopers. So there's definitely some space to put some soldiers. And then here there's these things which uh, you can just stick the lightsaber in. It's for Palpatine and Darth Vader's lightsaber to be stored right there. Um, and then there's this final feature. So obviously we can have our, like, we, we, we have space here to put some droids and some troopers or whatever. So it, it's definitely roomy and if you want to remove this system, it's pretty easy, just pull it off. Um, yeah. So it, it's definitely, it can really act as a shell. But LEGO decided to implement this fun feature and I have nothing against it because I really like it. What you want to do is, it's basically the Darth Vader transformation from the 2005 wave inserted in the middle of the shuttle. Even though this doesn't really happen in the shuttle, it happens in of course in the medical center. So, here's what you want to do. You got these things, and you, I mean it's pretty straightforward. You just put Darth Vader here, push forward, and then the helmet will insert itself on uh, Darth Vader, and then you just keep pushing 
for the awesome reveal like this. Yeah. Uh, so it's pretty cool. I think that LEGO could have added a, a second Darth Vader minifigure so that you could have with the suit and without the suit. Um, but yeah, I definitely suggest getting another Darth Vader if you want to play with this because you, you kind of need to have both. So sometimes it doesn't really work. That's because uh, well, in this case, the mechanism just left, but sometimes you can't, it, it doesn't really work the first time, so you do need to have one or two tries. Lucky for me, it mostly works, so no problems with that. Um, but actually, now that I think about it, that's the inside of the set. Just You can just go ahead and put that back like so. Clip these things back in place. And then the back and the one in the back. Yeah. Um, but actually, now that I think about it, that's that's about it that there is for the shuttle. It's a pretty cool set. Really like it. Um, I I guess it would be incomplete to show you the shuttle without having the wings opened. So I'll go ahead and get that done for you. Uh, let's see. Closing in these things. Yeah, so the shuttle has definitely a really smooth look to it. Um, very nice. I really like the shapes they managed to get with the hole in the wing and all that. So it definitely nails it at looking um, amazing and stuff. And it definitely looks pretty sleek here on the side. So I think the main thing about the shuttle is definitely the look that it has to it. And definitely here you can see the pilot. Alright, so getting some final thoughts done here. I really think that this is a Lego set that applies to everybody, mainly collectors. Um, and as much as collectors, also children, people who want to play with this. So anyone who really likes Palpatine's show, uh, don't think that they're going to remake one anytime soon as far as I'm concerned, but um, even if they will make one, this set is so good looking that, or the vehicle itself is so good looking that it's worth getting another one. Uh, I definitely think that this is a great model for a start, for it being the first model. It's great and there's definitely a lot of uh, learning there's definitely a lot that we can learn from uh, building techniques used in this set. That's what I really like about it. Uh, so those are my final thoughts. Thanks for watching this LEGO Star Wars set review. Please leave a comment if you guys enjoyed this review and let me know what you think about this set. But otherwise, I will see you guys next time here on the Memory Studios channel. Bye-bye.